Jazz is literally hook grip and bench. Hook grip everything. Hook grip life. <laughs> well, <laughs> that grip, Jazz. Be careful of that grip. Don't let it go. That bench is really going to slip out. Wait, we had a we had a funny thought. So we're doing we're doing some bench, right? I'm not the big, big, biggest bench builder. But you know, like when you're when you're doing bodybuilding, so we're just bodybuilding today. We're just coming in. Basically, we're just doing three sets of ten on everything because it's kind of fun and it's just like get yeah, pull, 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 pull. But basically, like you know, when you have like two minutes rest in between exercises when you're bodybuilding, you're like, Phew, I'm not doing this. I'm like, oh here, yeah. you know, like Eddie Hearn. This is what it feels like. But when you're in CrossFit, you're begging for those two minutes. You're like two minutes rest. Well, that's not enough. But here we're like, oh come on. Mm. What do we do with ourselves? What do we do with ourselves? Should have wrote a book. Sure, yeah, we should have wrote a book. I could have written a book. I'd not have a very interesting book. Kilos for 10. Three sets. Wait, so does it back? Yeah. It is 85. 85 for 10. Three sets. No, but I'm going to use a bodybuilding term. We're pretty exhausted the shoulders, that's why the bench is so hard. You see, we did shoulders first, so. But it's good when your delts are tired, because then you can activate the chest. It's pretty cool. Get pumped. Get that Dan Bailey rich thrown in chest. It's a bit awkward. Craig's just sitting with his back to me. Good turn around. Say hi. I will get that ring whistle up, I will. Light, wait, 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 wait. Wonder if we can kip this. Use those hips, Jazz, kip it. Yeah, that's good. Getting that hard work. You're so off putting. <laughs> Come closer on this exercise, it looks like I'm starting a fight with the bench. You want some? I'll give it, I'll give it you. <sighs> Nearly at the bench. This. Nobody knows where we live. Alright team, we haven't done an unboxing in a while, and this is quite an exciting unboxing. So basically, Nike got in contact with us, and uh, they were like, do you want a couple of pairs of shoes? We got the confetti edition coming out, which Jazz would love. And we were like, yeah, Jazz would love that actually. We, fe we featured it in the news the other day and uh, they're just a cool pair of shoes. And then they were like, oh, we have this um, limited edition Metcon 5 that's coming out that's for the open. So I haven't even seen it yet. So I don't even know what it looks like. Exciting. Put some epic music over the top, Jazz. Um, I don't know any epic music. Come on, just give me some. What was that? Never use a knife towards you. Here it goes. Oh, I love bubble wrap. Did you know that I read a news story the other day that they're making bubble wrap so that it doesn't pop? No, that's got to be a joke. <laughs> Don't do this to us, world. Da, 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 da. Also, we just finished training. Jazz had a great training session. I rode a 5K. Uh, back didn't feel too good, but not too bad. I got asked today on my Instagram, who would I go to a desert island with if I wanted to survive? If I picked one person, who would I survive with? I went Shane Orr. What about me? Well, I thought once I've survived, I'll come back to you anyway, but me and Shane would have a great lads holiday. Oh, look at the box. Look at the box. Yeah, but look at my box. Oh, you got the same box? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. I hope it comes through on the camera, how like, I can see myself. Ooh. High definition. Ooh. Jazzy, jazzy shoes for a jazzy person. Time for the big reveal. Oh my word. They've called it something. Got some stuffs, didn't I? Oh, I don't know if that'll get around my back. Told you to put medium as the top. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, these are the open shoe and they are the Nike Metcon 5 Night Time Shine. <laughs> I like. Yeah, but, ooh. Ooh. These are snazzy. Yeah. Nice. Oh,
That got hard. Uh, the arches of my feet really started to hurt towards the end. Good workout. Jazz did it a little bit differently. She started off with the double-unders because recently she's just been lacking confidence in double-unders. So instead of coming to them and being knackered and then trying to do them, I was like, do them at the start of each round so then you can do them good. And did you do them good? I did. They were much, much better than the other day. <laughs> Jazz, the other day, I think, shed a tear. Had a mental breakdown over double-unders. I just, what, we did them last, didn't we? It was off the air bike and I just, I could, oh. Really? Yeah, just wasn't a, wasn't a good day, but it's all good because today, yeah. can I go that way? Yeah. It's all good because today was much better. They were good numbers for me. The row, oh my word, after those dumbbell walking lunges the other day. I literally feel like I've been run over by a bus. Smash that like button if dumbbell walking lunges or straight leg Romanian deadlifts literally leave you sore for weeks. Thank you. Oh, he's been watching the video. <laughs> Iced Americano in winter. Someone stop me. It's cold and I'm drinking a cold drink. Probably helps your recovery because it will bring your internal body temperature down faster. Scientist jazz. Relax, keep your head down. Totally Being good. wrung out like a towel. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Probably put it on a little bit too high. Chef Jazz, Chef. Uh, what do we have cooking tonight on the, uh, the menu? We have chicken, butterfly chicken with garlic and barbecue spices, broccoli and packet rice because how to do perfect rice is to just let somebody else do it for you and you just heat it up. <laughs> so let me uh, let me translate that for you. We have pan fried bird of the earth, avec garlic et Texas barbecue spice from Texas with mini green trees. <laughs> God, what can we call this? It'll be funny. And Laziness. You having a wine? Yes, yes I am. Someone asked me this the other day as well. They were like, oh Craig, what do you what is your go-to cereal? What is it? Tell me. And so the actually the other day I saw Velner on, on an episode mix honey and normal Cheerios because it makes it healthier. And I was like, what a genius. But um yeah, here is our cereal cupboard. I just like the normal Cheerios. I love ready oats. You know, like when they're soft, not like the real oats. I like the soft ones. Does anybody else have the same frustration? Who puts that many Cheerios back in the box? It wouldn't have been me, I would have finished them. And you gotta love a bit of Otabix. They are only awesome. So Adrian Munweiler on his post the other day, the guy that invented, you have to Google, ask Siri why cornflakes were invented. The answer is strange. Really? What's the top one say, Jess? <laughs> it's really difficult to pronounce. <laughs> I'm just gonna let Craig insert it here. No, no, no. Say it. Come on. Not to be an anti-aid, despite the viral rumor. Anti-what to aid? Anti. Unbelievable. Outrageous. Yeah. So now when you're eating your cornflakes. Yeah.